Hello everybody, this is Jasmina, and in this video I'm going to talk about the three harmony combinations, and I'm also going to talk about the half combos, and even a little bit about the arch combos. Uh, but I'll have a separate video about the arch combos because they're uh, quite, um, uh, they're their own topic, it's worth a whole nother video. Now, the arch combination uh, also involves three branches, just like the directional one did. But uh, they, they, they also create a group that shares a certain element in all three branches, but it's arranged differently. It's not the same set of animals or branches. And the three harmony combination can be in your natal chart, or they can be created by a luck pillar or an annual pillar. And these uh, will help. Uh, well, of course, if it's in your natal chart, this is something you always have. If it's in a luck pillar or annual pillar, it will be there during a certain period of time and then it will go away. Now, sometimes, depending on whether this is a favorable or an unfavorable element that is created, sometimes it's better to only be in the annual pillar or luck pillar rather than permanent. Because if it's permanent and it's an unfavorable element, it tends to decrease your ability to succeed because you become too focused on something. Of course, it depends on what your natural, what, you know, what is your natural level anyway. Now, in your natal chart, two of the three branches that make up one of these guys uh, does create a weaker form of the three harmony combo, and it will be enhanced, that is, during a certain luck pillar or an annual pillar, it will become a full three harmony combination because you'll have the missing the missing animal sign that you need uh, to have a full one. So uh, this is also pretty good. And in some ways, this, uh, uh, this can lead to periods of time where you have really a great deal of more done than you normally would. And then, then you kind of calm down again and then you can do something with what you, what you have gained during uh, that given luck pillar or given year. So I actually, in this case, I actually prefer a half combo more than a full combo, unless the full, the full three harmony combination is a favorable element for you. And then it would probably be good. But if it's unfavorable, yeah, you don't want it all the time. Now, just like the three directional combinations, these three branches do not need to be adjacent to one another. But for the full three harmony, which is usually just called three harmony, uh, that combination, you must have all three uh, there in your natal chart. So here are the combinations. So we again have a cardinal animal here, the horse, and then we have the tiger and the dog. Now these are arranged in an equilateral triangle in the 24 mountain ring. We see this also uh, in feng shui. We do use this in feng shui too, and I do have a video that talks about this. It has to do with uh, when you have a real important project, if you want to enhance it, there's a complicated way to do it. I don't think most people bother with it because it is very, very complicated. But what you see here, what do they share? Well, they share fire. They actually also share earth. Now, usually they just call this the fire combo, but fire and earth go together in feng shui and in batsa fairly regularly. Certainly here they do. So what if you add the combination of the fire and the earth, that is basically passion plus stability. So that is actually a pretty good combo. So you tend to have more longevity with your passions. So this is a pretty nice uh, combo if you have it. If your fire is already really high, this will add more fire and it might be not so great, but uh, you have to, it's only if the extra fire would put you into the unhealthy high category. Uh, so that's all you really have to worry about. Otherwise, it's good. Now, the uh, three, the metal uh, three harmony consist of the snake, rooster, and ox. So this is the car cardinal one. And the only element they share is metal. 
and that'll be the way it is for the rest of these. So this is clearly just a metal combo. Metal gives you more, more strength, more resilience. Uh, you become more resolute. You know, you, you, you have more energy to adapt or to apply to a project. So uh, this usually creates quite driven people when there's a three harmony combo uh, because they feel, you know, compelled to get things done. And, uh, and so this can be good, but it can also lead to burnout if it's too high. So this is why you have to worry about it. Now for the water, the rat is of course the, the cardinal one. And then we have the dragon and the monkey and they all have water. And so this is why they're part of it. And again, this is another triangle and all of these are triangles. You know, they're equilateral triangles in the 24 mountains. And then the last one is the wood harmony. The rabbit is the cardinal one. And we have wood, wood, wood. And so this is the wood three harmony. And of course, what does wood give you? It usually gives you the ability to learn, to grow, to become basically a better person. And the water uh, gives you more flexibility, adaptability. You can adjust to changes in the world more easily. And it doesn't cause you a lot of, you know, emotional pain or you know, uh, discomfort because things are different. So it's not bad to have if that is an issue that you have. Now, the three co harmony combo, just like the directional combo, does not create any kind of transformation. So you don't have to worry about, is this going to transform anything? Don't worry about that. But it just simply adds an, an element to the elemental balance of your chart. And of course, different masters are probably going to put different weighting on this combo. Now, the, there are several different schools. I mean, the, there are maybe half dozen, but there's really the three big ones, I would say, uh, and that would Joey App does a lot. Uh, Ken Lai and Joseph Yu also have their own schools, but none of these people, um, as far as I know, unless you pay a lot of money, and I don't even know if that is going to be true for Joey App, uh, that they, then they will tell you how they actually measure everything and how they, you know, the rules that tell you how to take a chart and say how much element of this and this and this. They don't agree with one another. Uh, if you, well, they don't agree with one another um, generally, although, I have seen some charts that are a lot more stable than other charts. My chart is seems to vary a lot depending on who does the analysis. So uh, this is a little um, a little disturbing, and uh, be, especially because I have no idea how they do it. But if they're not going to tell me, uh, you know, I can't afford their classes because these are the really expensive guys. Now the Three harmony combination adds a significant amount of whatever that element is uh, to the chart. Uh, but the directional combo is stronger. How much stronger? I think that depends on the school. There's no really definitive statement about this. It's, but these two are the strongest ones. So they will have a pretty significant effect. Now, half combos, again, can occur, and I talked about that but they must have the cardinal animal as part of their combination. You could have the non-cardinal animals and they create something called an arch combination, which I'll have again, a separate video about I'll talk a little bit about them here and I'll show you what they are, but uh, the arch combinations are worth their own video. So if you have a horse and tiger or a horse and dog, you have the half combo of fire. If you have the rooster and the snake or the rooster and the ox, you have the half combo of metal. If you have the rat and the dragon or the rat and the monkey, you have the half combo of water. And the last one, if you have the rabbit and the goat or the rabbit and the pig, then you have the half combo of wood. And then that does give you some permanent energy, some, some permanent, um, uh, permanent 
amount of element in your chart. But when the right month comes along, or the not the right month, the right year or the right luck tailor comes along, then you're going to have much better. So for example, the rabbit, goat, and pig makes up the water combo. So if you have the rabbit and the pig, every goat year and, and your goat luck pillar, you are going to have a full three harmony combo because you've, and, and, but it's temporary, but during that time it's full. And so you have more of wood than you would otherwise have. Now, it's my understanding that the half combo adds roughly about one half of the element that the full three harmony combo does. How much exactly that is, again, depends on the school. Now, luck pillars and year pillars, again, can create the full harmony for those that have half combos. In fact, you're guaranteed that there will be times when your half combo will turn into a full three harmony combo. And there'll be 12 years apart and then whenever your luck pillar is, the appropriate luck pillar is. Now, two non-cardinal animals can combine that are part of the three harmony combinations, and this is called an arch combination. Now, this tends to bring out the cardinal animal even if it doesn't exist in your chart. So that, um, that helps you, it, it can help you especially with relationships because the peach blossom, the cardinal animals are peach blossom animals. That is, you, uh, uh, if you, if you uh, do the thing with um, uh, Joey Yap, it will tell you all kinds of things. It will tell you a noble person, all that kind of stuff. Peach blossom is also listed there. And that will be a cardinal animal. Uh, that, that's just what, how they define them. Um, I, maybe there could be others, but I think they're all just cardinal animals. Now, the elements that, the, that uh, are also created by these arch combos, uh, they're actually quite complicated on how you find them, but they can be favorable or unfavorable. Uh, and they will consider the, the tiger and the dog, that's part of the fire uh, three harmony combo. The snake and the ox is metal. The monkey and the dragon is water and the pig and the goat are wood. So, uh, so this does give you some of this. But this guy wants to bring out the horse. This one wants to bring out, um, I believe, let me see, snake, ox. Uh, this is, uh, well, this one is the rat. Uh, this one is probably the rooster. And this one is the rabbit. Uh, I believe that's the way it goes. It's You see it earlier. Um, and. You will, you'll see it again in the arch uh, combination video. Anyway, uh, although these animal pairs are part of the three harmony, the Asino is part, they do not create a half combo. So they don't generally have as much energy uh, as a half combo does because that's a little more firmly related, but they, um, uh, but but they do create probably more than a six harmony that doesn't transform may. It's a little vague exactly where the arch uh, combos come in. Now, you will see, if you look up arch combos, you will see a lot of them that have to do with the cardinal directions. But there are some that use the ordinal directions, and you can find that in Chinese language websites, which is where I found them. Uh, and... Uh, so this is a uh, pretty interesting, and um, so this arch combos can create can be done with other things, and not just the you're just not arching over a cardinal direction. Um, there wasn't a lot described about them, but I would assume they're less strong than the ones over the cardinal. But uh, you'll see you'll see that in the uh, arch uh, combo video. So this, again, let's do some examples. This is my chart again. Now I have half a combo. I have the rabbit and the pig. So I just need the goat to make a full harmony combo. 
Now, what's really interesting is the goat and the ox in my month are clashes. So during my six to luck pillar, you know, the one that's usually hard for career, I have, I, I am able to learn a lot more and I really did during that pillar. And uh, so in some ways it kind of, even though it's a clash, ultimately it's good for me. It's okay because I, I'm actually using what I learned too. Uh, during my six luck pillar, I learned enough uh, by reading and you know going through the code and all kinds of things to be able to design, design my own house plans and get them approved for building and even start building. Now, what would wood add to me? Now, this is half the wood combo. Now, wood is an unfavorable element because I have a strong day master. Wood generally generally makes you learn faster. It's about growth. So you, you become, basically you learn more or become a better person or, you know, you grow more. Uh, and, and, and I would say that definitely happened during my goat uh, luck pillar. Uh, but if it's, if that level is too high, you end up just learning and never applying. But that obviously didn't apply to me. Uh, and I don't know how high this really would have gotten me uh, in terms of, you know, the, because it adds wood to my chart. But uh, that is not part of your, well, okay, it is part of your natal pillar. This half combo is. That'll be part of the natal pillar or the natal um, elemental combination. But when the goat comes in, it would be part of the annual. And uh, it will take me a while before I get to see another one of these. And then maybe I can analyze what happens. But uh, uh, every all the free software sites out there, they actually just look at the current year. So I have to wait till goat year comes around before I can tell you anymore. Now, basically what this means, because I when I have the goat, I create a full three harmony combo. So now I have a, even more wood. And so I'm able to learn faster and more deeply. And uh, so that that is generally good as long as I'm not only learning, I also have to apply. And I would say I have seen this one. Now, remember when I talked about the directional combo, I just need a rat year to come along. Uh, and I, I haven't really noticed too much of a difference there. But here I would say that, yes, at least once during a goat year and during my goat luck pillar, I did learn a lot uh, and, uh, and, and was able to apply it. I mean, you know, really got something out of it. So, uh, so obviously this doesn't make my wood so high that... Um, I become a daydreamer. So, but of course, this also has to do with my upbringing. You know, daydreaming wasn't exactly um, encouraged in our household. Now, if I'd been born during the goat, just an hour later during the goat hour, then I would have a full three harmony combo permanently in my chart. And I probably would be much more of a daydreamer because I don't have... Uh, I don't have um, the same sort of uh, basically mindset. I would really only care about learning, very likely. Now, there is this clash, but it is not side by side. And if a clash is not an adjacent pillar, it's a lot less weak. However, in this case, I mean, you have the month and the hour, so the ideas would clash with my career. So that wouldn't be very good. So I'm quite happy I was not born in the boat hour. Um, I, I actually think having a half a combo is better than a full combo in some cases, especially when it's an unfavorable element uh, for your chart. Now, if this were the case, the downside is that I might be, I might not be able to stop learning. That is, uh, I would never apply anything. I would never apply what I learned because I'd just be too compelled to keep learning something new and another topic and just want to learn, learn, learn and not care at all about applying. Whereas for me, and 
I think that is upbringing. It, it is it is sort of like, okay, unless you are going to do a, go on to a trivia show where you need to learn a lot of irrelevant information, uh, you know, there's no point in just learning all the, all these quote unquote facts, you know, like, uh, jeopardy. I mean, I don't even know how these people can remember all this because it's like a lot of useless information in my book. So, uh, but I might be that way if I actually was born an hour later. I'm, I might actually feel that and just want to gather information for no good reason. Uh, of course, I guess, yes, if you can keep doing this, you, you can earn a lot of money on Jeopardy, but uh, I don't think that's that easy. So uh, that's it. Um, I uh, hope this was helpful and that you would see. I, I mean, I actually hope most of you guys don't have a permanent one uh, unless it's a favorable element for you because otherwise it can cause more problems. But um, again, if you have a comment or question, you can uh, leave me a, uh, a comment or email me. Now, I don't do bots analysis and I'm not going to tell you what your chart says about this. This is why I'm doing these videos, uh, so that you can do this yourself. And if this does help you, I really would appreciate a dollar or two at my coffee store so I continue to take more classes. I do not put ads on my, on my videos because I don't want to waste your time. And uh, honestly, the ads do not pay anything. Uh, they pay a tiny fraction of a penny for every ad. So unless you have, you know, half a million followers and half a million people watching your videos, it's not worth it. And even if I ever get there, I won't because your time is too precious to wait, watch, you know, to your time is too precious to waste watching stupid videos. So that's why I would like just a dollar or two then I'm going to be able to take a Z-Way Dosha class. But thanks again for watching.